Hey guys, it's Haley, Cosmetology 120 Lab. Um, just coming today, we are going to do um, lash and brow tint. And um, we are going to start by greeting our client. We are going to bring, escort them to our work area. And we are going to look at their current style. Um, we are going to discuss their preferences and any special needs or wants that they have. And we are going to um, do a basic skin analysis. We are looking for irritation, inflammation, um, raised, broken, um, swollen skin. We're looking for skin that um, has wounds or open sores. We're looking for um, infections or infestations such as head lice that could stop us from effectively completing the service today. Um, if they're good there, we're gonna go on to the consultation form. On the consultation form, we are going to discuss with the client any medication that they've taken in the last 72 hours or products that they've taken within the last 72 hours and um, any medications, not any medications, any allergies that the client may have. Um, we're going to discuss any facial surgeries they've had within the last three months and if they remain under a doctor's care for those. And we are going to discuss um, if they are prone to fever blisters and or cold sores. Also want to touch base with the client about any exfoliants um, or skin lightening agents such as BHAs, AHAs that they have used within the last 72 hours. Um, as well as any facial injections they've had within the last three weeks to include Botox and hyaluronic fillers. Um, if they are free from all of those, then we can move forward with today's service. So we're going to start by washing our hands. So we're wetting our hands under warm running water and lathering with liquid antibacterial soap. Rinsing our hands under warm running water. Drying our hands with a disposable paper towel. Turning off the water with the paper towel and disposing of that paper towel in the trash. And then we are going to sanitize our hands. Hand sanitizer does have to be between 62 and 70 percent ethyl alcohol and this one is 70 um, percent. Then we are going to apply gloves. And we are going to um, we're 
using our barbicide wipes. These are EPA registered, um, approved for use in the spot and salon setting. And they are um, EPA registered, verified, effective as a bactericidal, vericidal, fungicidal agent. And we are cleaning with wipe number one. And we're gonna clean down our workstation. We're gonna clean down our lamp. Make sure it's on and working properly. And we're gonna wipe down our cart. dispose of that in the trash and we would allow that to sit for two minutes and then we have wipe number two and this one is disinfecting the area We're going to remove these gloves. And these will go into the trash. And then we are going to gather up um, the items that we're going to need. So So for today, we're going to grab us a headband. I'm not here now. We have some hand towels. I have um, some disposable mixing cups here. Um, I have some water and a timer. I have spatulas. I have um, some mascara ones. And I they're in my cart here and I have um, disposable eyeliner, um, but we're gonna use a lip brush today. And I have um, cotton swabs and eye pads, um, or eye rounds, as well as eye pads on my cart. Um, and then I have my Lash Tint product. I have petroleum jelly for protective cream, I have eye makeup remover, and I have table paper, mag lamp, stool tray, facial bed, etc. So we're going to go ahead and get that stuff together. So in my first cup here, I'm going to put some water. those in my to be disinfected. So we have three quarter inch of our color cream. And then we are gonna have two to three drops, 
two to four drops, excuse me, of our developer, um, which is basically equal parts. And we're gonna mix this together into a mayonnaise consistency. And that does have to sit for three minutes before we can use it. And we're gonna mix for um, a darker color for the lashes and a lighter color that's more um, equivalent to the client's hair color for the brows. And I have some makeup remover here. I am going to put out my disposable table cover here. And help my client onto the bed. are going to wash our hands again. So wetting our hands under warm running water, lathering with liquid antibacterial soap, Rinsing my hands under warm running water. Drying my hands with a disposable paper towel. Just uh, turning off the water with that paper towel and disposing of that paper towel in the trash. And then we are again sanitizing our hands. Oh, hand sanitizer. 